guys, what's going on? I hope you guys are well. Mike Tyson says that Floyd Mayweather, he was praising Conor McGregor, saying Floyd Mayweather is probably the greatest fighter of the last hundred years. And Conor McGregor went 10 rounds with that guy. Um, I'm pretty sure that's going to not irk up a lot of people the wrong way. Uh, Floyd Mayweather is the greatest fighter. Do I think Floyd Mayweather was the greatest? I think what Mike Tyson meant by that comment was that Floyd Mayweather was one of the greatest fighters ever of the you know the last century. You know whether he meant he's the great he was the greatest fighter. What he was he's trying to say that Floyd Mayweather was so exceptional, right, as a fighter. And this guy who never boxed before came in and, and went ten rounds with him. He deserves a lot of respect for that. He deserves a lot of credit for that. You know, and I think. Mike Tyson's right. I don't think Conor McGregor got enough respect for what he did against Floyd Mayweather. I don't think he did. I think people brushed it under the carpet. The, the guy never had one boxing fight. And I think it was really disrespectful to say that Floyd Mayweather carried him. I don't see it that way. How? I don't think Flo I think Conor McGregor had a good chin and he was able to eat Floyd Mayweather shots. I don't think he carried M McGregor at all. You know, but I just think a lot of the boxing hardcores were trying to... They were trying to make it out like, oh yeah, Mayweather took it easy. He didn't take it easy. He was going in there fighting. He was throwing punches and McGregor ate those punches. You know, there was nothing Mayweather could have done that would have... Yeah, maybe if he had jumped on him earlier, uh, maybe McGregor would have got tired earlier. But I don't think he... Mayweather wouldn't have been able to take McGregor out with one punch. Or if he had gone gung-ho, he wouldn't have been able to take mcgregor out early because mcgregor would have been able to absorb his shots it's only later on because mcgregor's not used to going the 12 rounds mcgregor got tired and even towards the end when mayweather was pouring it on mcgregor mcgregor didn't get knocked down he was just tired and exhausted more than her um so i think mike tyson's right i think mayweather do i think mayweather is the best fighter of the last hundred years no uh, i think you know there's been guys like Sugar Ray Leonard, Muhammad Ali, of course, Sugar Ray Robinson, you know, even Mike Tyson himself, you know, these were special fighters and great fighters. So I don't know whether Mayweather is the greatest fighter of the last hundred years. I don't agree with that. Um, you know, I feel like there's been fighters that have been better. Was Roy Jones in his prime a better fighter? Possibly. You know, there's been many great fighters, many, many great fighters. Um, that have come and gone, you know. Uh, but Mayweather is definitely one of them. He's one of the greatest fighters that have, that have been around, and one of the greatest fighters that you know we have seen in the last hundred years. Of course, you know. Um, some people put him in the top five greatest fighters of all time, um, and he definitely deserves. He's he's a special fighter, Mayweather. You know, he's beaten everybody fifty and zero. Um, you know, he's he's done it all. Mayweather made a shed load of money, um, and I don't think Mayweather gets enough respect that he deserves really people just want to hate on him and talk bad about him but this is a guy that's achieved a lot and a guy that's um you know been in there with virtually everyone in his era um and beat everyone in his era so i do think he probably deserves a lot more credit than he gets you know this is a guy that fought canelo and beat canelo easy you know and look how what canelo's gone on to achieve now um so like i said i think i think i think I, I don't agree with Mike Tyson because I don't think Mike Tyson said that. I, don't, I think people misunderstood what Mike Tyson said. I think what he was meant to say is that McGregor went in in against a guy that was probably one of the greatest fighters of the last hundred years. And he went 10 rounds with him. So he was more praising Conor McGregor than praising Mayweather. Uh, but I think what he, there's no doubt McGregor Mayweather is one of the greatest fighters of the last hundred years. You know, I don't think any of us can doubt. If we were to make a top 10 list or top 5 list, Mayweather would probably be in that list. You know, he was a special kind of fighter. Um, so, uh, I, I think people probably that comment, because of the fact that Mayweather's unpopular and people don't like him as much, I think people are not going to like uh, giving him that credit. But I do think Mayweather is up there as one of the greatest fighters of all time. And I think he deserves a lot more credit. You know, uh, you know even it doesn't matter who you're a fan of. I just think you know you have to um, you have to appreciate Mayweather's greatness. If you're a boxing fan, you will appreciate his greatness. He's done a lot um, as a fighter, um, you know. And I think you know he might not have had the most exciting style. I wasn't the biggest fan of Mayweather, but you know I understood that Mayweather, 
you know, inside a boxing ring was special. He he knew what needed to do to win. He'd work his opponents out. He'd take away. Mayweather always used to say, "I I I whatever you do good, I take it away from you." And he did. He was that type of fighter. He would take whatever you do good. You know, this is a guy that, you know, knew that Marcus Maidana was was had a great strength and conditioning coach, Alex Ariza, which was making Maidana a monster. And he ended up paying Alex Ariza away from Marcus Maidana. This is. This is the kind of things that Mayweather did. He was just brilliant uh, because he could do it. Um, but fair play. He had a great career, special fighter. Um, do I agree with Mike Tyson? I don't think Mayweather is the greatest fighter of the last 100 years. But I do think he's one of the greatest for sure. Leave your thoughts, guys. Let me know what you're thinking, guys. Remember to please like, share and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. I want to thank you all for me reaching 7,000 subs. I appreciate your support. Guys, as you can probably see from my channel art, I have recently started Patreon and Blogger. Um, if you were to click on this uh, icon here, it will take you to my Patreon page. And I just want to take you through my Patreon page. So I've, at the minute, I've got two options. Hopefully, I will increase this if my Patreon grows. But at the minute, I've got uh, one option, which is $1 a month fan donation, which will obviously help me produce better quality content on YouTube and faster for you guys. And I've got another option of $3 a month for two live streams a week discussing boxing with myself. You guys will get to speak to me face to face. Um, and I'll take you to my boxing blog. So if you were to click on the, this B sign here, it will take you to my boxing blogs, which is, which is this page here. And all you have to do is click on here. And that will take you to my boxing blogs where you can see all my different articles that I've wrote. So as you can see, I've wrote six articles about different topics so if you want to click on one of my articles all you got to do is click on this and it will take you straight to the article and you can read it and you can then go back and read the others if you if you would like but yeah guys i thought i'd just highlight this to you um so make sure to read my articles uh, make sure to subscribe to my patreon if you're interested and guys i thank you for your your support i thank you for me reaching 7,000 subs guys i'm out